Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I guess. I don't really know. Um, I figured I'd take everything that I got in all my subscription boxes and make one uh, look with everything since I'd got Ipsy and BoxyCharm and Birch. Um, I was supposed to get a new subscription this month. Um, it was called Beyond Beautiful, I think. And they had like a... Um, let me see. That it is count is $9.95 and you got $5 off. And I figured I'd give it a try because it looked like it had some really good stuff in it. I had watched a, another YouTuber uh, with it. And, but I had, um, I was going to email her yesterday and ask her what was going on with, um, uh, well, I didn't get my box this month. But uh, when I got on the site, it gave it like, a, I guess so many people had ordered that they was a little behind. So, um, I'm just going to use what I got here out of the other three boxes and see what I can come up with. And um, I think the first things I'm going to start with is my eyes. And I did get the ColourPop um, Golden State of Mine palette from ColourPop. And I also, it was broken, but I used some alcohol and uh, put it back together because I still haven't got my new one yet. I got the uh, by Luna Luna by Luna in the colored Spice Pumpkin. And I was going to uh, see what I could come up with. But since they, I really need a transition color or, an, um, you know, something matte, I was trying to figure out what palette I wanted to use. I had a few laid out. But I think I will use my, the Bomb Palette Meat Matte Trimity. So I think I will use this for, um, some regular matte colors because I just think I need them and it's hard to make a good look with just um, shimmers so I'm going to go in with uh, well I think my brushes ran away so this is a um, eyeshadow blush by Jubilee and it's just a regular blending blush it don't have numbers or anything it just says eyeshadow I'm going to use it and I'm going to use the first color I'm going to use is matte Lynn to go in and I'm just going to use this mirror here okay, let me and it's just a little bit of a darker brown it might actually be building better than what I think because my lighting ain't that good I was going to do this last month. You might hear my cat behind me. He's probably getting ready to make a gum. Let me grab this before he drops it. He likes to get into everything, climb everything. And right now he's mad over the window, so I guess he's just letting me know. Okay, so I've got these colors. I this thing's a little darker. Nothing too dark. I don't want to go that dark. I might need to get another brush. I'm gonna take this brush. Um, and I don't even want to take this matte brushy. Just right here at the corner. I don't really want to go too dark with it. I've had this palette forever, I can honestly say. I just never grab for it. And it does have some really nice coloring to it. I just don't know. I'm just, I guess I got too many. And I'm not really crazy about this brush. I really need to get my brushes cleaned. Okay, 
You can see, I went a little darker. I went over. Oh. It's messed up big time. That's okay, because I can fix that. I need to cut that. Watch my hands. Well, not that bad. Okay. So, I'm going to put this one to the side. It had some really gorgeous colors in it. I mean, they was very bright and very shimmery, as you can see. I really like this color right here. Let me see. It's really good for like the inner corners. Okay, let me get another brush. I really need to clean my brushes. I just ain't got around to it. I just opened this brush today. I don't really, I don't think I like it, but I've had it forever. Um, I'm gonna use that. I don't know what I'll use it for. So I think I will take this brush and go in. And this ain't gonna mirror. Let me get this one back. And I think I will just like a little shimmer in the crease. Back. Back make sure I got them even. Okay. Then I am just going to take um, this uh, this is a Luxie brush, and it's a 249. It's got like a something like a shadow brush on the end and a blender. And I am going to take the color Unsupervised and just put it like brush it down on my lid. Almost all over it. For like shimmers and glittery colors, I like to press them more than um, wiping them on. I find that they look better and they show up a whole lot better. This brush right here, I really don't know what it's called. I bought these a while back and never uh, got a whole set of them. And used, uh, I think, like maybe one. But I'm going to take the color Girlfriend, and it is the color right here. No, it's this one. All right, I'm going to take this one right here. I, don't know, I kind of like that more silvery color, but I really like this color. I'm just going to go in on the corners of my eyes with it. Yeah, kind of swap. It really, it don't swap to you when you put it on like that. I guess it's the shimmer that won't hold in place. This is a clean brush. I'm going to take this as one I got from BoxyCharm, I think, like last month or something. It's just a, um, I think it's by Vintage. And I'm going to, I'd like to have a little bit more color, but I don't think I've really done too good. I'm going to go ahead and take, um, Pay the Piper and do the bottom um, of my eye right here under my waterline. Luxury brush and go in. Oh, I know what I'll do. I forgot about it. The Luna that I got from Ipsy. As you can see, it's very shiny where I fixed it back. They are supposed to be sending me one. But this will do for now. I think I'm just going to take it into my crease line to see if I can get some more of a pop going on here because I kind of like my eyeshadows a little bit more darker. I like to see that I'm wearing, at least I'm wearing them. I'm 
Okay. So I did get a little fallout. I'll just wipe it off with a brush. I am good to go. Okay, so here is the finish. Okay. So moving on. Let me see what to do next. Um, well, I didn't get no blushes this month. But I had, I think I got like, I've been getting one about every month anymore. So I will just go ahead and use the uh, Pretty Vulgar. They got Boxy Charm about half for sure. I got it last month. I might be mistaken. And I've already put my foundation on and done my contouring. And I'm just going to put this right here on my. This color. I think it's very pretty. It's just you got to be careful with it because um, it can go on very bright. What I found, if I go like a little too bright. I don't think I did on this side. Power, I fix it. But, that's way too dark. But that's okay. Okay. So, the next thing is going to be um, my highlighter. And I'm going to be using the Tardius Pro Glow that I got in my Boxy Charm. What I do with this, every time I use it, I just squirt a little bit on my hands. And I'll just take a, um, I'll either take uh, this one by crayon or I'll use my regular um, highlighter brush. This stuff you have to work really quick with because it dries down like really, really fast. But it is such a pretty color. As you can see, it shows up like really, really good. I think I used about too much there. but that's a When it starts drying down, I'll just take my hands real fast and I'll blend it out. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit on my nose. I always like to and see if I can get some too come up like this okay I did get two eyeliners this month and they was just laying here and I did get a mascara I got the bad girl bang and I also got a um, purple uh, it is by Jubilee it is a uh, when pizza a pencil meets gel it's supposed to be a long-lasting eyeliner. I've not used it yet. And it is in the color Ultraviolet. It is really a pretty color. But for what i got on, I don't think it will really work with. But I also did get the Smash Mouth Always On Gel Liner. And that is what I'm going to do my eyes with. Okay. bigger mirror. I'm going to have to really focus because I am not too good. Okay. So now i got my eyeliner on. And next is my I got the Bad Girl Bang. And I really love this. Um, mascara um, I got it a couple months in a row now. I got like like last month with Ipsy. Um, I'm torn between like I need to buy a big tube. I'm torn between buying a tube of this or the Better Than Sex uh, by Too. Is it Too Faced or Tarte? Well, I'm just mixed between which one to buy the Bad Girl Bang or the Better Than Sex, and I do not know. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have to do this off camera when I put my mascara on because I know I will mess it up. So we'll be right back. What I don't like about this mascara with this wand, you can really get in there like with your smaller lashes, and it doesn't leave no clumping as you can see. This is. So far, my all-time favorite mascara. Um, the last thing I got to do is my lips. 
This month I got um, a neutral color by Odessa uh, in my boxy charm. I also got a Smash Mouth, and I did end up um, buying a couple of lipsticks in my holler box this month, and also in my Target box. I got the Elf, um, it turns like pink on your lips, it's like, um, right here it is, it's like a, so you can see this color, it's a very pale, pale pink, then you flip it over, and you can see where my skin turned it red. I'm not, and I'm not gonna lie about this, I am not crazy about red lipstick, I don't think I can pull it off. I don't think it looks the best on me. I'm trying to, I laid it all down here. I'm like, I'm lost, I guess. It's like I lose everything. You probably, if you'd make, if you ever meet me, you'd like say no. That girl would lose her head if it wasn't attached to her shoulders. But I laid the lipsticks down right here. But I laid a lot of stuff out. Okay, but I did, I do not know, and um, my Adessa lipstick, like, disappeared, and one of my Bad Girl Bangs uh, mascaras disappeared, my contour brush disappeared, I think I lost them out of my purse uh, or something, uh, so hopefully they show back up, because that contour brush is, like, my all-time favorite one for it, but here's, like, the choice I was trying to make uh, with the lipstick with some... By Black Opal, that and this uh, this one I got from Holler, and I really do like purple colors. That might be a little bit too purple, purple for me. And I also got this Smash Mouth one in my Ipsy box. I was going to use it, even though I'm not that crazy about red. I figured I'd go ahead and I give it a try. It's not really like red, red, and I figured this eye lip liner right here would be the best for it. And it's just like it's just a little red. I've done a lot of swatches trying to figure out um, what lipstick I wanted to use. And this whole time I've been sitting here thinking which color I wanted to use. But I think I've made my mind up. I am going to use the Smash Mouth because I do want to give it a try and see. Like when I write my review for Ipsy, like you know how you do to see what they're going to send you next time. So I really want to give it a try to see if I do like it. But first I'm going to align my lips. I think if I turn this way, I got better lighting. I am going to be adding some lighting to my vanity very very soon i think that's like the mother day project i want to start last year my husband built me this big vanity uh for mother's day and he was like um honey i don't think they're that big i was like um yeah i know they're not but i really want mine bigger than a normal vanity and it turned out so good Okay. Now I got my lips lined. I guess I got them on straight. I hope. A little thick. Because I thought when I first tried it, when I first done my MC video, I kind of did find it. I thought it was kind of patchy. But this time, I'm going to give it a try. So a little thick. So just in case I know I'm staying in the lines. Because I hate. I don't like lipstick, especially like a red color. And I've noticed this with a lot of people. They put red on, and then it's like way... They've smeared it all the way down their face, up their face. And I don't know. It seems like red does it more than anything. Okay, this is like darker than the one I was using. Probably because I grabbed the wrong one, probably. But that's okay. We'll make it work. Okay, so here is my finished look. So I'm ready for the day. I was going to put some lashes on, but I decided not to. All in all, I do think that everything I got on my boxes this month did make a good look. I didn't really, like, go 
like way out there, maybe on the blush. It needs to tone down a little bit, but I'll fix that. And I really did like everything I got. What I like about getting subscription boxes, cause I live in a small town and you have to travel 90 miles to get to an Alta or a Sephora or anything like that. So I do all my shopping online most of the time. And so I really like getting subscription boxes cause it's like a surprise in the mail every month it's a gift it's like a it's like it's my birthday or something but this is the look i came up with out of all my stuff and i think it done a good job all with the blush and the lipstick did end up better than what i thought it was going to because i'm just not a red person it might fade down. I might have to add another coat when it finishes drying. I'll see. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And about that, I've like lost my train of thought. But thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. And thank you guys again. Bye.